Cardinals off to a decent start. Won two of their first three. There he is, the skipper, Mike Schilt, who spends a few minutes with us here today on a Monday on High Heat. Skip, good to talk. Nice to have you with us. How are you today, pal? Okay? I'm doing great. How about yourself? Hanging in there. Uh, and good start for you. Winning two of your first three. Goachman hits a home run. Uh, you know, you're playing lots of kids. Uh, you got a, two good, well-pitched games, Flaherty and Wainwright. Give me a sense of the first weekend against the Pirates. Let me get a read. Go ahead. Yeah, you know, well played all phases of the game. Felt good about the way we um, went about the competitions. The blueprint for how we like to compete on the mound is um, was really followed by Jack and Wayno and our bullpen. Just commanded the strike zone, controlled counts, aggressive. Um, let our defense work, put the ball in play. Let us let us um, you know play defense behind them, which we do pretty well. And um, and then we we're really opportunistic offensively. So um, well played. All right, how about the empty ballpark? A uh, little weird. How did your ball club, I'm sure you heard some thoughts in the clubhouse, in that great place where you put 45,000 in every night. Obviously, three games of no fans. Thoughts there? Yeah, we miss our ballpark, you know, full of our Cardinal fans and the passion and the support we get from our fan base. But um, I really know that having the ability to have spring training at home and getting used to um, the empty ballpark was a big advantage for us to when the season started. And really, I don't think our guys, um, I think they normalized it. There wasn't a lot of complaining about it. We just went out and enjoyed the fact we were able to compete and play again together. Interesting. All right, two days off this week, I saw. You know, I go to Milwaukee, Minnesota first, then the Brewers. And two days off for the Cardinals in the first week of the season. You're only getting six or seven for the year. Two come early. Thoughts there. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't know how that works relative to the league, you know, where everybody's days off are, are sprinkled. We get two off early. Um, I, I would hope that most of the league is getting some early days off just for the fact that guys are getting eased into the load of the, of the season. Even though it's a short season, still that load starts pretty quickly with an abbreviated spring training. I'm comfortable our guys are ready for it, but it's nice to have a couple of breathers in there for the guys um, pitching the position players to kind of get their – their feet and arms under them to, um, you know, go about the rest of the season. So, you know, regardless of what the schedule is, we're going to play it. You're playing up games. Correct. Carlos Martinez makes a start here in the rotation. Thoughts? What to expect out of him early in the week? Let me hear. Um, stuff's good. You know, his stuff's always been good. A lot of life to it. Um, but he's really been able to dedicate himself to what we want him to do in between starts. You know, how he goes about things, how he takes care of himself. Um, and he's been nothing but fantastic um, over the offseason prior to spring training, during spring training, during the break, and then during summer camp. He's answered the bell at every turn and is excited and uh, dedicated to being in the rotation. He's earned his spot back in it. Uh, happy to hear that. All right, now, have you, uh, let's see, the, they did not, you did not play an extra inning game yet. We had about four or five of them over the weekend. Now, I like it, Mike. I think it's fun to lose something different in this weird year. Uh, I actually think the road team has a little bit of an advantage because if they score first, puts a little pressure on the home team, it's a little easier to score when a game isn't over if you don't than the other way around. If you don't score, the game is over. What's your take on the extra innings? Have you thought about how you're going to handle that as a skipper once we get to one in the 10th inning for the Cardinals? Let me hear. Yeah, there's a little bit of a um, different mindset, whether you're the visitor or the home, clearly. Um, there's just a lot of variables to it. You know, we're continuing to study it, uh, paying attention to the experiences that other people are getting and looking at it. We've already talked to people differently um, that, you know, have done this in international competition. You know, it's been something that we've done in our minor league system um, as well. So, you know, there's just so many factors to it, Mad Dog, to, to think about um, prior to the inning starts. Clearly the runner, um, you know, if you bunt them over, who you bunt them over for, you're setting up double plays, you're going to throw through, um, you know, and clearly it'd be different if you're the home or the visiting club. Yeah, it's very interesting, and we've had some. It was fun over the weekend with that. Uh, the scenario about the protocols on the road, Mike, now a little trickier. You know, you sort of have to be, you know, almost quarantined uh, as a ball club. You got Goldschmidt there. You got a couple of Fowler there. You got uh, Carpenter, who's three good veterans. I would think everybody will be in line. Give me a take on Milwaukee, Minnesota, making sure everybody stays healthy this week. What's your take on that? Clearly important. I think we've normalized what we do at home, and I think we're just going to extend that on the road. I feel like guys are more diligent, um, you know, away from the field, and they're really respectful to, to their families and to each other. Um, and we understand now that the road's just going to be different than what we're used to. Uh, I think the ballpark, you know, once we get to, a, you know, some cities where we realize how the 
the infrastructure works for the clubhouses. Um, you know, that'll we'll figure that out relatively quickly. We just, you know, the, it's the way from the field that's really the difference. And even how we travel on the plane today to go over to Minnesota, what that looks like. And everybody's been prepped for it, um, you know, making sure we all take buses and, and you know, we're going to get fed at the hotel and, and, you know, have to report a little bit later than we're probably accustomed to in some cases. So um, this is a highly adjustable group. Like you said, there's a lot of veterans on the club that provide a leadership on and off the field. And, um, but the good news is our group's dedicated to making sure we, we do what we need to do to stay healthy so we can compete. And last thing, Mike, uh, managing-wise, uh, in the short season, you know, three games yet, maybe you haven't, you know, gotten a real feel of it. How are you going to handle it? You're going to treat every game, uh, you know, three times of what a normal game would be since that's kind of what it is. You're going to make sure you close the deal in this short 60 games, trying to stay away from losing streaks. How's Mike Schilt going to handle a short season from the dugout? Let me get a sense there. Yeah, I mean, we have a sense of urgency when we play, regardless of the time frame of season. You know, 162 games last year, we – Came to the last game of the season, and that sense of urgency and the games in April and May were just as important to us, just maybe more magnified towards the end of the season, but nonetheless, it's still relative importance. Um, so we, you know, love sense of urgency every game we play uh, without panic, and we'll play the game to win, and we'll get after it, and we'll be prepared. And, and really, I feel like we take that mindset of being present, taking care of business in, in the moment, and getting better as we go. Um, that's our best, best chance of getting the most out of our club. Good job, Mike. Thanks for a few. Keep up the good work. Have a good week. Appreciate you coming on uh, here today. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you. Take care.